In this video, I'll be taking you through how to create a quick and easy cycles fire simulation, as well as how to change the flame's colour and how to apply it to any asset. Let's get started. Starting off, we want to delete the default cube and bring in a circle. Go to edit mode and select all the vertices and fill. Go to the object menu and press quick effects, quick smoke. Once you've done this, rescale the domain on its z-axis and align it just underneath the circle. Then go into the physics tab and change the type to all. Then select the circle and change the flow type from smoke to fire. Enable textures and navigate to the texture tab. Press new and change the type to clouds, then change the size to 0.11. And then the contrast to 5. Going back to the Circles Physics tab, you want to put the just created texture in the Texture drop-down. Select the domain and change the resolution to 64, then turn on Dissolve and Noise. Change the velocity to your liking, I'm going to do 1.3. Select the circle and go to frame 1. Key the offset in the Physics tab and press I then Available to insert the key. Go to the final frame and scroll the offset up and press I and Available again. Make sure you remember to change the render engine to Cycles and not Eevee. Select the domain and in the Physics tab press Bake. Wait for the Bake tab to reach 100%. Keep in mind if your fire is not going to be the duration of the entire timeline, change the frame start and end frame above the Bake All button. Once your scene has finished baking, you will be able to see the fire in your perspective, but not in your rendered view. To fix this, we're going to go to the Shading tab. Once you're in the Shading tab, turn up the black body intensity. This will make it so it's visible in your rendered view. And there you have your flame. Now I'll show you guys how to change the color of the flame. Press the clock symbol at the top left of the timeline and select Shader Editor. Press Shift A and bring in a color ramp and plug that in to the emission color. Now bring in an attribute node and put flame in the name. Connect that to the color ramp. Press the plus button on the color ramp to bring in more colors and change them to your liking. Once you've done this, turn up the emission strength and your flame will be revealed. To animate the flame's location, select the domain and then you can simply key the first frame by pressing I then location. Scroll to the last frame and move the flame where you want it to go. Once again, press I and location.
Once you're ready to render your flame, press render and render animation. A window will pop out and begin rendering frame by frame. Make sure you've put a file directory in place and set the output to AVI JPEG. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching the tutorial.